Hi there, so you got Elliot from Micro Workshops 3D Printing CAD Design Service. I'm uh, just going to show you what um, what zero thickness error is with boss extrudes and um, why it happens and some examples and uh, how to fix them, just some sort of workarounds. Um, <clears throat> so first example, if I just wanted to um, emboss this cylinder on this little platform that I have here, um, and I have it tangent to this face, so they're touching. Um, what I get is a zero thickness error, which you can see here. Um, and SolidWorks defines that as a non-manifold geometry, which you'll probably see in other CAM modeling pieces of software. Um, so the problem is it has sort of mathematical errors in SolidWorks, so um, it, it just it's not able to do it. Um, so uh, that's one example that you can see there, um, and here is another example. So if I've got this uh, this tall rectangle on top of this base, and I wanted to um, make another rectangle, but their the both of their vertices, both of their edges, their corners are touching. If I emit, if I try to emboss it up, I get that same problem. So that's another example. So. Um, when a cylinder is tangent with a face or when two vertices are touching each other, it, it won't work. Um, and then that also goes for if you wanted to cut a rectangle that was touching um, touching a cylinder like this. Uh, so if I went to extrude cut rather than extrude bossing, um, you'll see that we get the same problem there. Um, so I just want to tell you what the sort of potential fixes are. So the short answer is there actually is no fixes you cannot emboss this up you know while it's touching this face um, if it's actually touching the face it will never work SolidWorks won't ever allow it so as a sort of workaround what you can do is um, if I sort of if I take this tangent off <coughs> and move it away and what I want to do is um, I want to put just a 0 0.01 millimeter gap so in reality with any manufacturing uh, piece of equipment that's such a small small number such a negligible amount that it will really never um, have any real effect in in real life so um, as you can see I can emboss it up and it works fine um, and you can also do the same thing you know you can push the uh, cylinder so that it's over the line by 0.01 mil. Um, so that's sort of another workaround. Uh, or if you um, really needed to keep this, uh, this cylinder tangent with the edge um, for whatever the reason is that you, you have. Um, so I've made it tangent just now. Um, so if I attempt to emboss it, it doesn't work, as you can see. Um, so what I want to do in this case is I want to extrude boss it, but I'm going to deselect the merge results, which means that um, instead of this cylinder becoming uh, part of this platform that it's touching, um, so it would be one singular body, but in this case it's going to be two separate bodies and it will, it will make the model behave a little bit differently um, but if you're doing something like a sort of a visual um, you know, a visual piece rather than a functional then you know you can actually do that and it won't have any uh, sort of negative implications um, so yeah that's it um, any zero thickness errors, those are the workarounds